All right, so we've got the box with our different types in it, and now what I want to do is I want to put a material parameter on this box, and I also want to put a frame that goes around each side of that box. Okay, so if I zoom in, I can pick the geometry, and if I pick the geometry over on the left hand side under the properties, I get a material option, and I want to assign a material parameter. So I'm going to left click on this little associate family parameter gray box. If I click on that and I go to add parameter, I can name this display mat. Okay. And I'll click OK. And click OK. And now if I open up my family types dialog box, you'll remember we made three types in the previous, right? So I have a 5 by 5 by 10 and I'm going to change the display material for that. So if I click on this, it opens up my material dialog box, which is huge. Okay, and so what I want to do is I want to search for a glass material. And if I scroll down here, you'll see we have some different glass options. So I'm going to pick glass green, right? I'll select that and I'll click use render appearance for shading. Click apply and it will update. Click OK and you'll see glass green is applied to that. Now I can go to my other options and apply different materials to those. So I could come in and say I want wood. So if I come down here there's pine, particle board. We'll put some red oak on there. Oh, that looks a little bright. How about We'll put some mahogany on there. A little red. Use render a color appearance for shading. Click OK. And then for the final one, we'll put another glass on there since it really is a display case. And Okay, so we're going to use some glass clear, and I'll just bring that up there, and we'll use render appearance for shading, and click OK, and click OK. And now if I come in and go to shaded view, you can see that if I flip through these various different options with different assignments, it will give us a different, of course, material for each parameter, all right? Now the next thing I want to do is I want to come in and I want to put a frame around it. So we're going to look at two ways to do that. Um, the first way is just to sweep um, a profile around one of these sides. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to go to point, and I'm going to make sure um, that place on face or draw on face is selected, and then I'm going to hover over this edge and left click. And then I'm going to come up here to modify. And if I zoom in, you can see that there's a point that's now hosted on that line. What I want to do now is I want to draw a rectangle, and I want to make sure that Draw on Work Plane is selected and 3D Snapping is not, because I want to draw on this little point. So I'm going to set the Work Plane as that point, and then left click, and it's going to use that point to draw on. And then I'm going to go to Create, Align Dimension, and I'm just going to pick the line edges, the point, the line edge, and then nothing. And do the same thing that I did with the reference planes is equal these guys out. Right? And then I'm going to put over all dimensions on just like I did with the reference plane. And I'm going to pick those two by holding down the control key 
and adding selections. And I'm going to go to Able, Label, Parameter, Add Parameter, and I'm going to call this Frame. Okay, so now it's they're both the same size. I can come up here to my Family Types dialog box and maybe change that to something like two inches. It's going to be kind of small. Click OK. So small frame. I'll pick that. I'm going to change that to a reference line. I just prefer to work in reference lines. Um, and then I have that selected. Now what I need to do is select all the edges to sweep it around those edges. So I'm going to hover over and I'm going to tap the tab key until I get to the element edge and left click. I'm going to hold down the control key and reselect that profile to add it to my selection. I'm going to hover over this one and tap the tab key until I get to the edge. Hold down the control key, left select, left click, tab through until I get to the edge, hold down the control key, add to selection, tab until I get to the edge of the box, hold down the control key, add to the selection, and then create form. It's going to sweep that edge and associate it hosted on the edge of that box. Now if I come in and pick this, I can add a material parameter to it and I can call it frame mat. Click OK, click OK, and now you could come in and assign that, right, a material in here. And we will just Um, assign that to this aluminum. Use render appearance for shading. Click OK. And it'll apply that and I'll click OK. And you can see that that updates. Now I need to do the same thing for the other side. So um, I'll just pause it while I do that since it's a repeat process. All right, so I've swept that around and now I'm just going to assign the material parameter to it. So if I can get a hold of that frame there and assign frame mat to that. All right, so now we've got that guy and let's let's flip the types in and out and see what we've got. So if I come into my family types dialog box, I can come in and change it out, apply it, right? Change that out and apply it. Now it's using the default frame um, size for these. You see that frame is still set to six inches, so you could come in here and set this one to a five and apply. And then I could come in and set this one to, you know, four and apply, right? And you could also add a material to those as well. Right now they're just by category. So you have sort of these display boxes now that you could load this into your project um, and use them. So <clears throat> next time we will do that. So I'm going to stop.